This is a Peterbilt Gangster Visor. Uh, when you receive it, it'll have a, a little hook right here. If you have the cab mounted uh, side view mirrors, you're just going to want to cut it straight up, as you can tell I did here. And this is a two person job, so you get one person holding it in the middle. Come on down, Billy. And you can see I've already cut this right here. But what you do, you get one person on each side, you hold it up to get your measurement from the bottom of your windshield to a point down here so they're both even. And all I did was just took a china marker or a pencil, marked at the bottom of this bracket and at the top of this bracket. And when I cut it, I went a little bit deeper at the top because of the angle of the way the visor is going to be. But what I do here is use self-drilling screws, and that's, that'll just hold it in place for you a lot easier. You'll screw them in, get all your measurements right, and that way you have pilot holes for when you either are going to put screws in or if you have huck rivets. That's what we use, the huck rivets here. Makes it a lot quicker and easier. What we did here, what Billy did in the middle is when we had this all bolted in, he dropped the center bracket in there found out where it was going to do where it was going to be made a mark we removed the visor he held it in place drilled holes you got to be careful when you're doing the windshield you're hitting metal in between the windshields so you just got to be real careful drill through there if you have huck rivets available you can do that or they're going to be through bolted up here you can use uh, a nut if you can get huck rivets, it'd be the best thing because you can't get to the back side of that without taking apart your whole console. Just to get a rivet or a screw, put some sealant caulk in between there so it doesn't leak. And what we're basically going to be doing now is setting it back in place, make sure everything's fitting right. We're going to go back through and open up our holes that are up here and down here to fit our huck rivets. And we'll be bolting it back up and we'll be back with you in a minute on that one. All right, we're about to huck rivet the visor in place. You can see I already put caulk in the holes. Come up a little bit on side and the other side will be repeated just like that. Get it fully secured. It'll drill through the slotted uh, holes on the bracket and through both the center. About that easy. 